Okay, I just mad at this baby and I'm not gonna leave her outside, but um, we're gonna let her cure and then we're gonna flip her over and mat the other side. So it was much nicer doing it outside. <laughs> I didn't cough, didn't get anything up my nose. So this is what she's looking like. And when she dries completely, you are gonna wash her off. So she's not gonna have all this on her. And I'm gonna come back when she's cured and I'm gonna re-gloss her lips so they can be shiny and maybe the corners of her eyes. Okay, it is several hours later and I think she's pretty cured. I see some spots that's still shiny that I will go back over again. Um, but what we're going to do right now is flip her around and do the other side. Um, she's so cute. And like I said in my the last time, I'm going to regloss her lips and we're going to do just a little on the eyes. Um, but pretty much. Now when I do the other side, I'm going to kind of either take a wet paper towel and rinse her off so I can paint her on the other on the with the blank silicone and then lay her flat on here take her back outside and dust her with the matting powder so we will see what she looks like after that one she's so cute yeah, there is a few spots left that I know that I need to remap, but that's okay. We'll get it done.
And this is why I absolutely love doing silicone dolls. Cannot do this with a vinyl. <laughs> I can give this one a bath. Okay, this little lady just had a bath to get all of the matting powder off of her. And we're going to dry her. We're going to see if there's any more shiny parts. We can definitely matte her again. But <clears throat> the next step is to get to the rooting. And there is some shine here still. Oh, maybe, maybe that's water. <laughs> She feels very silky, very, very soft. There's a little shine here. Her hair, her hair doesn't matter so much because she's going to be rooted with a lot of beautiful hair. <clears throat> so she has some shine here. We're going to um, mat her again on her arm some on her stomach but let's just look at her let's look at the hands <laughs> let's do a close-up of her little fingers you can wash her better off her hands are so cute <clears throat> her palms I am so excited for this little doll because they're so cute. Um, I have another silicone doll coming, and I cannot wait to get started on her. So we can see that there is some shininess still here. Let's look at this hand. <clears throat> I like to look at the details because the details are so important. And all of this still, she would need to be washed off again. So I'm looking to see if there's any more places that she would need to um, be rematted. Okay. And her feet. So adorable. Her other foot. All of this can come off again. I mean, it can come off. It's just how I washed her. You know, you take your washcloth. Let me show you guys. It is part of the matting process. <laughs> and I didn't scrub her too much, but you can. She can take it. Let's flip her over to the booty. We're gonna have to <clears throat> This one was done pretty good. This side was done very good. I don't see too many problems. So this is the Billy Sculpt from Silicone Studios 2. Um I am going to start rooting her hair. She's going to prob most likely take another bath <laughs> when she's completely done. <clears throat> but other than that, this is a seven pound baby, fully silicone little girl. And once I am completely done with her, she will be up on my shop. She will have fully rooted hair, um, fully rooted brows. She would have eyelashes. So this is what she looks like before, and we are gonna remat her because her this arm right here is um, more shinier than I want it to be. 
<clears throat> and she's got a little more shine on her legs, so we're going to remat her legs too. And actually, I might go on ahead before I even start is before I even start rooting is go ahead and <clears throat> rematter again. But even if you rooted her, it doesn't matter because you're going to give her a bath afterwards anyways. But that is the Sarah sculpt and she is absolutely adorable. Let's zoom in on her face. There's her face. Which is fine because I have to do her lips anyways. I wish this part right here wasn't so dark, but you know, you live and learn. That is what it is all about. We're going to remat that and remat her stomach. And for some reason, it just seemed like it was this whole side that had a problem. We're going to remat her leg. This side looks fine. Maybe I can remat that too. But pretty much, she's good. So stay tuned, we're not done yet. More videos of the Billy Sculpt from Silicone Studio 2. Bye. Okay, I have started rooting on this doll. This is the Billy Sculpt from Silicone Studios 2. This section right here has took me an hour. <laughs> this little teeny section, only an hour. So, yeah, it's going to take some time to do the whole head. And actually, I came upstairs to kind of root on my dining room table. Um, but anyway, she's just so cute. I just love her. I still do have to um, re-gloss her lips and fix some matting, but I wanted to go ahead and at least start on the rooting. She is getting this black mohair. Um, it's not as silky as some mohair hair. I like it because this is a biracial baby but I do have blonde of this mohair and the blonde I don't know we're gonna see when I root it on my next baby but right now here is <laughs> a little Billy um, I've got my light to help me I don't know but she's so cute okay Back to it.